So if you've got an individual who's got a consciousness that's, you know, everyone's here to be helpful, if that's really how they show up, and we all know a few people like that, where their, their disposition is sunny and they're just basically always have got a positive vibe going on and no matter what's happening, they have the capacity to lift themselves up and just see the good. Well, that's an unusual person, first and foremost. The thing we understand here is we are individualizations of this one power. Whatever it has, we have in the miniature. So we are individualizations of this one life, and we are creators in our own life. We are the authors of our own experience. So that self-talk is really important. Finding a way to take a pause from that dialogue that lives inside of us is really an important thing. Every thought I think is creating my future. The collective thoughts, the thoughts that are living with us all day long are creating our, our afternoon, our evening, our tomorrow. They're also setting us up for our interactions with people that we're gonna encounter throughout the day. Because if I'm having a bad day and I'm struggling and the next person who comes into my space if I'm carrying all this unhappiness, I might have gone through something in the morning or something that's fearful or, you know, we go through a lot as people, you know, and then you encounter somebody and holy gods, you know, they have no idea what they're in for because you take that with you. So we try to get a handle on all that here and we try to develop some awareness. First of all, that our thoughts are things. Our thoughts have power. Our thoughts collectively in our stream of consciousness it represents our consciousness, and our consciousness is creating our life. Be mindful of your thinking, because be mindful that this power is in your word, what the old timers would say, in our word. It's not just our word. It's in our thoughts, it's our feelings, it's, in, it's just, you know, what you hold in your heart to be true and what you think about, that's gonna begin to manifest in your life. That's really the way the law of attraction works. You don't get something for nothing, if you want to embody something good, if you want to have something good in your life, you have to embody that idea. Conversely, if you have a lot of negativity going on, that's going to show up in your world too. And it doesn't have to be that way, but the way life works, it works according to what we call the law, the law of attraction, the law of correspondence. And whatever is living inside of you eventually shows up on the outside.